Cheyenne Tallman is a mom to a toddler, Charlotte, and a fiance. She's also a heart transplant recipient. At 26 years old and 32 weeks pregnant, her heart was failing. After an emergency C-section, Cheyenne was flown from Central Oregon to Providence St. Vincent, where a team of doctors and care staff worked to keep her alive. It was very emotional, I would say, for all of us. I I think all heart failure cases are very, very sad in nature, but when it comes to a new mother, I think it it hits us a, a little deeper. So we all knew that we were doing it for Cheyenne and trying to save her life and prolong her life, but also doing it for Charlotte, who really needs need her mother, and we didn't want to start her her life and her journey without having her mom by her side. One treatment option was a device that helps the heart pump blood. We were hoping that my heart would recover on its own. Um, After a few more weeks, they decided that heart transplant would be the best option for me. My heart just could not work on its own. It became clear Cheyenne would need a transplant. She waited for nearly 90 days before a heart was available. There's a lot of factors that impact how long someone waits. Um, It's body size, blood type, and then for women who've given birth, uh, the fact that they may form antibodies as a result of the birth, which makes it so the finding a donor match can be more challenging. I, I do think this was something that played a role in her extending her wait time. Cheyenne is thankful for the doctors and nurses that took care of her. It's definitely important to be surrounded by positive people and people who care about you and the entire heart transplant team. I mean, even pre-transplant, they were absolutely amazing. It's the reason we do what we do in our jobs every day, why we have such a large, large team that rallies around trying to get people to transplantation. It's really the best feeling. Cheyenne knows she wouldn't be here if not for the organ donor. It's now been almost a year since her transplant, and she plans to reach out to her donor's family soon. I would say that I am very sorry for their loss, of whoever they lost to them. Um, But also, like, thank you to my donor, because I am here and... I get to watch my daughter grow up. There's not really many words you can say to express like the gratitude and thankfulness I have to be sitting here today. To become an organ donor, you can register at the DMV or online and by mail with Donate Life Northwest. Visit their website, donatelifenw.org, for more information.